today I thought I would share with you how I trim my bangs myself. I've had bangs for a really long time. I'd say most of the time I go in and actually get them trimmed between haircuts, which is something else I also really need. Um, but right now everything is closed because of the coronavirus, including like salons where I live and stuff. So all, all the non-essential businesses are closed. But sometimes I have to trim my bangs because I didn't have time to make it to the salon for some reason and need them trimmed for that weekend or whatever the case is. So I'm gonna show you how I do it myself. It's pretty easy, um, but it does take a little bit of practice and just go slow, cut a little bit at a time. <laughs> so things that you're gonna need are gonna be a pair of scissors. These ones are just like not the most exciting scissors, but I got these at Sally's Beauty Supply. I should invest in like a nice pair of sh like uh, hair shears. Um, but these were maybe $20 or something like that. Uh, fine tooth comb, it doesn't necessarily have to have this on the end. And then I like to kind of pull the rest of my hair out of my face, so some sort of ponytail or something like that. So how I generally have my bangs is kind of in that half moon shape, so they're longer on the sides, as you can kind of see. They're really long right now, wow. <laughs> um, but kind of like the Zoe de Chanel type of bangs. So, always cut your bangs when your hair is dry. Never, ever, 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 ever cut your bangs when your hair is wet. Big no-no. So cut your hair when your bangs are dry, and then preferably, I like to do it like after I've washed my hair. So I wash my hair and it's you know kind of damp still a little bit in here, but I don't like it when I have like slept on them because sometimes they can get a little too wavy because that's just the texture of my hair, um, and then. I just don't feel like I get as good of a cut or maybe as accurate of a cut. So to start with, you just kind of brush all of your bangs forward and try and get everything that's part of your bangs. I can usually do this just by kind of pulling it because I know where all my bangs and stuff are. But I also like to get the like face framing bits out too because it just, for me, it helps. And then you can usually... I just kind of pull like this because usually if I'm holding my hair, most of my hair is longer. I don't have a lot of layers. So all the shorter pieces that are my bangs will just kind of naturally come forward when I do it like this. And then I take my ponytail and I just tie my other hair out of the way. And then you're going to take your um, bra comb. Okay. Right, so now we got all of our bangs. This is like all my bangs or what I deem my bangs as well as I like to pull out, like I said, my face framing parts. So to start, I like to find the center of my part, roughly usually my part is like around here, and I'm going to try and do just this section. And I want to get it as small as possible and I want it to be like the section that's right in the center of my head. Uh, center of my forehead, I mean. Alright, I'm just gonna look over here in the mirror. Okay. So I'm combing my hair forward, and then I'm just gonna kind of split it so that it's, I don't know, somewhere up through the middle of my eye. Do the same thing on this side. I guess it is kind of nice to have this part because then you get a pretty accurate idea of all of the hair that you just grabbed. So what I'm looking at is my part right here. That's what I'm most concerned about. And I'm just gonna keep taking some away so that it's a really small amount here. See, now this came in a little bit. Same thing over there. All right, this is probably a good amount. This is like about a one inch section that's right in the center. And then if you had like little clips, you could clip these parts out of the way. But now what I'm going to do, I have some like long ones. I don't really want those super long pieces because it just goes back further in my part and I don't want that. So now we're gonna start cutting them. Now that I have my part of the center part of my bangs about one inch in width section we are going to kind of eyeball about where we want it so comb your hair out 
And then I can tell that I need to cut them just because of how I like my bangs cut. I like them fairly short, not super short, but I don't know, kind of short. <laughs> this is so descriptive. But I can tell that I'm gonna cut to about here. So for me, that's about a quarter of an inch or so. Take your comb and just make sure you're getting a really evenly combed out section. So all the hairs are lining up where it should. And then I know I wanna cut about a quarter of an inch, so I'm leaving my fingers here and they're just straight across. It's really nice to work in these smaller sections. It just makes it easier. And then with your scissors, you're always going to do your scissors this way. Never do them this way. Always like this. And so just start in the center and you can do your scissors like at a slight angle like this and this, and I just kind of go back and forth in there, cutting straight up. I'm leaning over because my, I'm trying to get it in my sink. I look funny like cross-eyed right now. So now I cut them and I actually feel like I could keep cutting them shorter. And just work in really small increments. You don't want to just like go balls to the walls and cut a bunch because you could end with, up with them being like too short. Luckily bangs, or at least my bangs, tend to grow back to like, if I cut them a little too short in like a week or two, so it's not the end of the world. But I want to cut them shorter, so now I'm going to cut them not another quarter of an inch, but maybe an eighth. I'm doing the exact same process here. Like I said, you can bobby pin these two pieces back if I start to get in your way. I'm actually going to go even shorter. This is the part where you just want to take your time. Like I said, you just don't want to cut it super short. So I usually work in like little eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch increments here. By cutting straight up like that, you're never gonna get like a harsh line. It might be a little jaggedy, but you can always go in and kind of adjust that after you're done. So, all right, I'm gonna go a little bit shorter. All right, that's going pretty good. So then I just kind of look at it a little bit of a spot. Like there's, it's not like perfectly straight across. And to me, like I like that more um, kind of like natural, slightly grown out look. I don't like a harsh bang across there, but I do like it right, right, right in the center here to be ever so slightly shorter because I like that kind of half moon shape, like I said. So let me get sort of tricky. So I'm just slightly trimming that. So this is kind of the height that I'm looking for here, the length that I'm looking for here. And I'm gonna bring in my rest of my bangs now. And now you can tell there's like a noticeable step up. I take my bangs and I make sure I'm getting still some of this section here in that we just cut that's like dead in the center. And you can see that there's like this obvious step down. Like that. This is the short part that we just cut. This is the rest of my bangs. So then what I like to do is, I don't actually cut them all to this length. This is just the length that I won't go past. So then I just start trimming this. Again, going in that vertical.
but because sorry if that got a little out of focus but because i like my bangs longer over here and to kind of do this like swoosh action i kind of cut them so it's not all straight across and then it sort of makes a arc and then continuing down on that side i look for any spots that i can just like right here it can be trimmed up just ever so slightly to continue with that half moon shape and to just loose you know like reduce the bulk i find that my bangs sorry if this keeps getting out of focus that's so annoying um i find that my bangs get a little bulky um just on this side of my head so like right here just because i've had bangs for so long tends to get thicker than over here and it's probably because i have like a funny colic hairline looking thing there so i i find personally just in my own hair and you'll learn this after you've had bangs for a while that there's just some areas that uh get thicker than others and so what i do is i use my um scissors and i point it straight up not at any angle and i just go up a little bit higher about an inch just a couple times across and that tends to just like let some of the weight out over here and then doing the same thing on this side again you can see that there's like this shorter part and then just goes really long so finding that spot which is right here this is the bangs that we cut initially in that one inch front center section and i'm just going to kind of blend it together shortening this area but not going past what i cut for that center section and keeping it at about this angle so like about a 30 45 degree angle or so and like i said i don't really have the same bulk on this side as i do on this side it tends to be really thick for me and this side as you can kind of see is a little sparse just how my hair is and then i just kind of comb it out and i look for any spots that i think could still come up more which is probably like right in here usually where that center section meets those two sections that we um, pinned off. I find it easier to kind of actually comb from underneath and then you can see it better. Like I can see clearly where this section is that needs to shorten just a tiny bit right there. This is not a super fast process. Keep it slow. Cut a little bit of a time because you can always cut more, but you can't add hair back. <laughs> and when you pinch your hair with your fingers, I mean, I'm doing it at an angle because I know kind of the angle that I want it to go at, but um, try and keep it really in place and try and keep them straight across when you're up top here. So like pinching your, I got hair in my eye, your hair pretty tightly so that it doesn't slide around when you're in there. I find it so much easier to just print off my hair like that than try and hold it in a thing like this and cut, but some people that might work for you too. I just, I don't know, it doesn't work as easily for me. But sometimes, I don't know, you can do it like that too. <laughs> I just find I like don't know what I'm grabbing when I do it like this and then I feel like I'm like, whoa. All right, so now I've gotten my bangs to like where I want them enough for now, I think. I usually just sit here and go like this and feel them. It's like right here. This is the thick part of my hair. Honestly, when I go and get them cut, I probably do it a little bit shorter, but I tend to err on the side of caution when I cut my own bangs and keep them on the longer end. Oh, see, like right there. That one could shorten too. All right, I think I'm calling it. That's what I'm gonna do good for now for my bangs. I'm gonna see if there's any like face framing bits I want to shorten up. I think I'm pretty content with these. I like them to kind of go like, like that if I pull them. <laughs> Cause then they tend to kind of sit where I like when I have my hair up. So, so my bangs are still a little bit like longer than I would normally get them trimmed at the salon. But like I said, I just like to err on the side of caution. I'd rather just do this a little bit more frequently than getting them like just a too short. And then I <laughs> screwed up my bangs and look funny. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it's helpful for you so you can attempt 
trimming your own bangs like i mentioned never trim your bangs when they're wet only do it when they're dry i suggest doing like clean bangs so it doesn't have anything in it in your hair i just find it easier to work with the hair and make sure that you're getting like the piece that belongs here versus it's getting stuck over here or something like that and then always cut upwards like this with your scissors never across like this you'll get a really blunt really thick cut i think that it just looks more natural kind of like this so yeah i hope that helps you and i will see you guys in my next video Bye bye